Hello and welcome to another video. Loose Web, what have you got for Christmas? I got a wand! Specifically, Harry Potter's wand. So we're going to talk about <clears throat> the wand of Albus Dumbledore. Well, now Harry Potter, who broke the wand. The wand is obviously the Elder Wand, which is the most powerful wand in existence. And if you want to see why every t every time somebody deals with the Elder Wand, the person actually with the Elder Wand loses, then I'll tell you. It's because the wand was never the never yours, like never the person who actually has the Elder Wand. Well, except for when Grindelwald. Battle Dumbledore, but that's just because Dumbledore is an insanely powerful wizard. It is more sentient than any other, but <clears throat> it it tries to get to the most powerful wizard possible. So whoever wins the duel will get the wand. And also, the wand <clears throat> can tell who the person with the wand is doing with. So, if it's if the person with the elder wand is weaker than the uh, person he's doing with, that means the wand would sabotage his current owner and <clears throat> let the opponent become its new owner. That is until that owner finds another more powerful wizard. So, like, <clears throat> why is the wand like this? I don't know, but <clears throat> it's possible that the wand is, the woods and cores might determine that. So, I've re like, I know that, for some reason, unicorn hair cores are the opposites of Thestral tail hairs. And dragon heart strings are basically the same as Thestral tail hair cores. So, yeah, we'll look at dragon heart strings first. I mean, oh yeah, we can look at both of them. Now, unicorn hair generally produces the most consistent magic and is least subject to fluctuations and blockages. Wands <clears throat> with unicorn cores are generally most difficult to turn to the dark arts, like, yeah. Grindelwald and Voldemort both had the wand, but they both used he start magic. I know that Voldemort wasn't the owner of the wand, but like, seriously, he did technically have the wand. I mean, physically at least. They are the most faithful of all wands and usually remain strongly attached to their first owner. Yeah, like the elder wand really, really separated a lot, a lot, a lot. Like, it it was for 700 years, which means it obviously fluctuated a lot. And they usually remain <clears throat> strongly attached to their first owner, even if it's not a successful witch or wizard. Yeah. The only one really only wants, only wants successful wizards and witches. Minor disadvantages of unicorn hair are that they do not make the most powerful wands. Yeah, like seriously? You should know this one. Mm-hmm. It's the most powerful wand in existence, which means its core also must be powerful. And that they are prone to melancholy if seriously mishandled, meaning that the hair may die and need replacing. 
The wand has been for something like 700 years. It, if that was like a unicorn here, it would have died like 700 times. So it's immortal. And not only do the cores make it opposites, even the animals themselves are opposites. Unicorns are very easy to see. <clears throat> and Thestrals are very impossible to see. And you can only see Thestrals when you have <clears throat> comprehended death. And unicorn Unicorns keep you from death, even if you're an inch away, which makes them literally opposites. And they're both incredibly fast. Another one that's not an opposite. And let's go to the similar one. As a rule, dragon heart strings produce ones with the most power. Yeah, like Destro Terror here and Elderwood, that makes a lot of power too. And which are capable of the most flammable spells. Dragon wands tend to learn more quickly than other types. Well, not really elder wands, but it does make it. It does have the similar part that they are both powerful and they can easily change allegiance. So. Dragon wands tend to be easiest to turn to the dark gods, though it will not incline that way of its own accord. It also is the most prone of the three cores to accidents, being somewhat temperamental. Yeah, the other ones is quite quite the same. Venus feathers aren't really related to the other one, unlike the unicorn hair cores and dragon heart strings. Yeah. And if you don't know, I'm not using the Harry Potter wiki because I just tried Pottermore and it worked out. Whoa, so excellent. <clears throat> and <clears throat> the thing is, it's kind of like the game of war with cards like if somebody has the you can think of it as a card game and like let's say you have a s seven card with the outer wand and the opponent gets picks an eight without the outer wand what would happen the seven loses because the wand abandons its owner so it's not really the wand that matters in the duel. And that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, like and subscribe. And bye!